Hi everyone, my name is Celine and I am currently a product design lead at LinkedIn. I've been a user experience designer for about six years and I've begun my journey to learn Buddhism for about four years now. At first, when I learned Buddhism, I thought it's about how to be someone good. After learning more about Buddha's teaching, I realized that I can apply a lot of his teachings into my daily work as a user experience designer. So what is user experience design, which is also known as UX design? I usually explain this to non-designers by this analogy. So think about your favorite application or app. You notice that maybe there's a problem with the app? That's what we call a bug. And that is the responsibility of a software engineer to fix it. Now, if everything about the app is designed as intended, there's no problem with it, but you find that it's super difficult and confusing to use, that is the responsibility of a user experience designer. Therefore, UX design in the context of software is responsible for all interaction experience in that software. That includes everything from signing into the software all the way to completing everything that you intended to complete when you're using the software. So in the process of designing, a user experience designer needs to understand all the circumstances that the user encounters when taking every step towards a goal. So let's take a simple login as an example. Are you a new user or an existing user? If you're an existing user, do you remember your password? What happens if you keyed in the wrong password? At every step, we need to understand how the user reaches this step and what they want to achieve at this step, what they can do, what they might choose to do, and what happens after they complete this step. So the whole thought process continues again after the next step and the next step until they've completed what they wanted to do. As a UX designer, we are designing the environment for the users to take every step. And a good design is not confusing. It's simple to use, convenient, and delightful for the users. This whole process of understanding what happened in the past, what's happening in this moment, and what's possible in the future is what we call in Buddhism an analysis of causes and conditions. Having learned this concept in Buddhism, it allowed me to look at all possible causes and conditions that might arise in a moment and be able to think through all of the possible effects of my design decisions. And then I will need to weigh the pros and cons of every situation. In addition, Buddhism also taught me about non-self and empathy. When I first started as a designer, I thought everybody would use the product the way that I use them. And so I design in a way that I think is a great design. But in reality, I'm not the person who decides whether the product is good to use. The users do. So when I design, I need to let go of my perception of self. Let it go, let it go and be able to truly empathize with the users, to think from their perspective. And part of this process requires me to listen to their feedback. But a user's feedback isn't the only consideration. After I started working as a designer, I realized the importance of finding a balance between what the user needs, what is good for the company, and what is technically feasible to implement. Learning about finding the middle path and impermanence in Buddhism helped me realize that there is no absolute permanent definition of right design. It is about finding a balance across all aspects. What's right is impermanent and dependent on the causes and conditions at that moment. The company's strategy, the available technology, time, resources, data, the user's needs, etc. The best design would be design that take everything into consideration. Because there are so many things to consider, I cannot possibly find the best solution by myself. Early in my career, I would be defensive about my designs because I have the wrong mindset that good designs wouldn't get much feedback from others. However, because I'm only an expert at design, I need the inputs from experts from other areas in order to get the designs right. That requires me to work with product product managers, product marketing managers, software engineers, user experience researchers, and many more in order for me to find the right designs given the current conditions. This is where 
Buddhism taught me that we are all interdependent with one another through the practice of frameworks such as the four immeasurables, four means of embracing, six reverent points of harmony. I learned to cope with disharmonies and collaboration challenges at work, keeping in mind that we are all interdependent and everyone has a different perspective to give. I learned to accept criticism and feedback, and I see that as an opportunity for growth. Buddhism taught me to treat everyone, no matter how difficult they are, with compassion by understanding where they are coming from before deciding how to approach them. From this, I realized the power of teamwork in enabling good design. Everyone is like a component in a machine, and we are all equally important in enabling success. This is how learning Buddhism has helped me to become a better designer. Conversely, being a designer gave me lots of opportunities to practice Buddha's teachings. I hope everybody can apply Buddha's teachings in your daily life too. Thank you for listening to my sharing.